you're a part of the LGBT community, you're more likely to get threatened and bullied in school and also threatened and bullied on social media. There are more males that commit suicide in the ages of 18 and 24, and there's a less um, percentage for women. Suicide is a serious health problem and for many young people, and suicide is the third leading cause of death for the ages of 10 and 24. The nationwide survey of a school student in the U.S. found that 16% of students reported of seriously trying to commit suicide, 18% adult males through ages 18 and 24 were more likely to commit suicide than females. Hi, I'm Ms. LaBert. I'm the social worker in the high school. So in speaking about suicide, really the best way to prevent suicide is to pay attention. All right. uh, because you're always going to be wanting to be looking for people who are um, having some changes in their typical behavior. So you might see signs of depression, like someone who has um, changes in their sleeping habits or their eating habits. Uh, someone who has stopped enjoying activities that they used to previously enjoy. Maybe they're distancing themselves from their friends or their family and just kind of isolating themselves a little bit more. Uh, sometimes people engage in like risky behavior, kind of where they um, don't really care whether or not something bad happens to them or if they die. Um, Certainly if people make comments like, uh, well, you're not gonna see me next week anyways, it doesn't matter, I won't be around for that. Like things that kind of are vaguely implying that they're not gonna be alive much longer. Uh, and certainly one of the best things that you can do is put it out there and ask people about it. So don't be afraid to say, wow, it sounds like things are really bad right now. Are you thinking about suicide or ending your life? Because sometimes people just need somebody else to say the words in order for them to be able to start the conversation. And certainly you want to be able to get them to someone who needs, you know, who can evaluate a little bit further and get them the help that they need in order to, you know, find the hope and the support they need to be able to um, feel better and move forward.